back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Michelle is joining me once again. And this time we are trying a sauce that's it's a very bad sauce. Yeah, it it's, is, it's like on the very far end of being bad. Yeah, it's just it's one of those sauces that it's just so bad. You have to call it a villain. That you do? Yeah. <laughs> but a bomb. But this is another one of uh, ones that Michelle picked up. We have both tried this yep. back in February. Long time back. Um, I don't recall a taste of it. Michelle had some more of it, I believe, at Go It Fast. <clears throat> and had, had to, to uh, just, bottle. you know, take more. But at the time that I tried it, it had not been bottled yet. So th- I know, we've been waiting have been, for this one. Uh, changed around a bit. There is one coming from them in December that mm-hmm. I can't wait to get a bottle of yep. it to try because that one's going to be a good one. Yeah, I tell you. At this point, I think we're stalking the villains. Okay. Yeah. So we could be the villain's villain. Oh, there you go. So Wait, at, does that automatically make us a hero for the villain's villain? Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> Upgrade. So I do love the bottles. Oh, yeah. Obviously, you got a better, better picture here. Yeah. Um, this is the Southern Symphony. Mm. Um, bar- smooth, bold flavor. It is, is it just a barbecue sauce. You can read. Smoky <laughs> Ghost hot sauce. Okay. So it's kind of like a barbecue sauce, but it's also a hot sauce. Well, why don't you tell them what's in it? Let me guess. Smoky goat. Shake well. There you go. <laughs> um, and here's the ingredient list. Pineapple juice, tomato paste, pineapple. Oh, there's pi- pineapple twice. You got the juice and the pineapple. Well, hopefully. <laughs> Apple cider vinegar, water, peach, nectar, smoked ghost peppers, white vinegar, Sugars, which is maple syrup and brown sugar, molasses, chipotle peppers, onion bell peppers, ooh, Arabica coffee, that's probably why I like it so much, garlic, pink sea salt, olive oil, black pepper, and spices, and sulfates. So, the main ingredients are fruit. Yeah. Well, the pineapple is like the, one of the first ones, it got a little bit of peach, peach, Yeah. and it's got like a lot of smoky, this coffee in it, it's like a red eye gravy. So how do you like your coffee? I like my coffee crisp. Ah, uh, you know Joan Rivers. <laughs> <laughs> For our Canadian <Yeah>. watchers. <laughs> I mean, I'm starting to look like an old lady, so, yeah. If I start looking like an old lady, there's a problem. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> never know. Do you mind? I don't mind. Just don't stab yourself. There's a pull tab. <laughs> Guys, just seen that. I mean, if you want to go straight for the knife. I wasn't sure whether or not it was a pull tab or just the way it was labeled. He just wanted to get out the weaponry. Nope. Pop goes you the sauce. You keep it because it's got the little villain. Oh, there you go. The little villain face. Boop, 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 boop. Shake, 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 Sonora. I don't know why Sonora needs to be shaken so much. I don't know. Maybe she just has an issue. <laughs> Don't we all? Ooh. I do remember that smell. It's all coming back to me now. It's all coming back. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? Ruffles barbecue chips. It has a very similar yeah, scent. Yeah, actually, I can see where you yeah. get that. It does have that. Oh, and which is my favorite type of chips, yeah, is Ruffles barbecue. It has your basic barbecue scent. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Little, oh, well... A little bit. Yeah, there's still some in there. No, I just I saw the sticker on the bottom. Before you taste it, I want you to see the sticker on the bottom. You know, I just had a little touch. <laughs> Best. Oh, see, that was intentional. Not, not really. Best before March seventeenth of two thousand twenty-six. So it's still got a year and a half, basically, a little over. Yep. But it's my birthday. Yeah. It's like every year on that day, yeah. oddly enough, it's his birthday. It just seems to be a yearly thing. I don't know I why. Don't know <laughs> it's like maybe something happened that day. Okay, well, there was a bit of a technical glitch there, so we're back. <laughs> There's always a glitch. So I will pour my sauce. It smells good. It smells boop, smoky. Boop, 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 boop. Not so much, much as yours. Yeah, I know. Well, you just got a little runny over the technical issue. <laughs> it's okay. But it smells good. Cheers. Ooh. 
see why I had to buy it. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It's smoky. It does taste a little different than I remember, but like I said, it's been a while. It's been yeah. more, eight eight months since I had it. Mm, that's good. But that is really good. It is. It's um. It's very versatile. Like you can put that on burgers. You can put that on chicken it's, wings. Does it have mustard seed in it? I have new. Yeah, because um, that would be very versatile. It could be. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's it very. Well, it is a versatile sauce. You can put it on pretty much anything. Yeah. The little bit of heat that's in there, I would probably put that about maybe a two, two yeah. and a half on the heat. Like I think, I think it's um, well, it's supposed to have ghost in it. Yeah, but it, it's a very mild. And, and it's smoked ghost with, but with all the pineapple, the peach, yeah. and that in there, it's very subtle. It's there and then it's gone. It's it's like a gentle warmth. But flavor wise, oh, it's delicious. I'm gonna have to give that eight and a half out of ten on flavor. Yeah, it's good. Like I'm, I'm gonna say like an eight or eight and a half because that you could use on I anything. I still think in the few years that I've had this channel, I think I've only ever given one thing a ten. Oh yeah, which one was that one? That was the one that tasted like Thanksgiving dinner. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah, that was a really good sauce, and that to this day I still cannot say I've had a sauce that has all of the flavor. Explosion, for lack of a better way of saying it, in one sauce to hit my 10. I've had a lot of closes, a lot of nine, nine and a halves. Yeah. But that pretty well. But this is an eight and a half. This is an excellent sauce. It's a very good sauce. Villains does excellent work. It's like um, a, um, the perfect um, mix of barbecue sauce and hot sauce. Yeah. It's yeah. it's not meant to be, oh no, I'm burning my mouth off. Yeah. It's meant to be used as an everyday flavor. sauce. Like I've yep. got my villain sauce up here from Witch Doctor, Boogeyman, Midas, Mountain uh, Punch, all of all. This is the only one technically I don't have of theirs. And he's not going to because I'm taking it home. <laughs> that would complete the... I guess you guys can't see that it's up too high. <laughs> yeah, it's okay because it's coming home with me. Yeah. <laughs> but it yeah, is it's good. definitely... It is one of their better sauces in taste profile. Yeah. Um, not that they're, like, they're all good sauces, but you don't... What I'm saying is... Yeah. It's up there. Um, yeah, like I said, heat was nothing extravagant. Especially with it being ghost, it's and it being smoky. Yeah. Like I said, all the everything else just it kept it at a mild, comfortable level. I'd almost say it's like an everyman sauce. But the thing is, there's some people who still couldn't tolerate that heat. But for us, it's like barely any heat. heat. Well, what about the women? Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what I mean. And every person sauce. Yes. It goes great on people. <laughs> this kind of verging on cannibalism. I'm not sure about that one. I'm sure it would make it taste good, but no. <laughs> well, supposedly we taste like chicken. Put it on burgers. <laughs> Meatballs. Balls of meat. <laughs> yes, don't, I, we don't recommend, or I highly doubt villains recommends putting it on people and eating it. Yeah, no. But anyway. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's, that's gonna good. wrap that up for that one. Again, like villain sauce. Very good. If you highly recommend it. Yeah, definitely. If you haven't had any of their sauces, check out the link below. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, you can check out my playlist of all the villain sauces that I have. It's they're sauces that I am so glad I had. Michelle introduced them to me and Yep. It's been great, and they're great guys. They're yep. local here they're to me. They are local, which is nice. And they're just they're great guys. You guys do an excellent job. Yep. Keep it up. The new sauce is coming out in December. Can't wait for that one. It's I have tried it. It is a kicker. Um, we will see how I react to it more on here. Yep. And I think they're also coming out with another one that's a lot more mild called Slither. But I'm not sure yeah. when that one's coming. The Slither out. is, I believe, he said it was like February or March. Yeah, so I'm we'll keep mistaken. our eyes out for it. But it's, I can't remember what this other one's called. It's coming out in December. But oh, because I've had so many hot sauces at Coat Fest. All I know is it had a big list of peppers. Oh, yeah. It, so. it, I think it was similar to the one that we did from Purple Tongue. With, that one had 15. I think this is like yeah. 10 or 15 or maybe more. I don't know. I don't know. But it's got a lot of peppers in it. It's got a big bang. It's very buck. pepper forward. Yep. So I'm looking forward to retrying that and letting you guys know. How it is. Yep. But on that note, enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time. Don't be a villain, but buy the villain.
Yes, there you go. <laughs> you can beat the villain by buying the villain and then eating the villain. I thought you said about not being a cannibal. The villain's soft. Oh, okay. Just clarifying that. 